probably the cutest game in the world, Yoshi's Story on N64 will have you thinking everything is adorable for hours after playing it. Immediately people think this game is for six-year-olds, but that's not the case. Sure, there are little farting dinosaurs everywhere, and everything is literally out of a storybook. And sure, you just eat fruit the entire time. Yeah, this game is made for six-year-olds. But it doesn't matter. Look how cute everything is. Your health bar is a happy face flower. Look, he's smiling. You collect singing hearts just because you can. And the whole game is you eating fruit. You don't have to kill or destroy anything. Just go nuts and eat your lucky fruit. As you get older and go back, there are some things that just make you smile. But not the, aw, cute smile. More like the, what the hell just happened smile snicker. Like Yoshi's warp phase. Mario gets a pipe. Yoshi gets an antique vase. But look where he comes from. Is it hell? And don't think you can't die. Oh, you die. And it's insanely depressing. Like, I'm just swimming around, trying to collect some fruit, getting my lucky fruit. When all of a sudden, yep, I got eaten. Now I'm taken to some castle in the sky, crying my little Yoshi eyes out, and I'm gone forever. We've never seen a game with such an emphasis on fruit and eating rate. If you eat anything other than fruit, you poop out an egg, and you get sick. If you eat your lucky fruit, you do the cutest thing ever. You giggle. But for some reason, Nintendo decided that melons would be the toughest fruit to get. Maybe Nintendo has a thing for melons. Big melons. Even the villains are adorable. My favorite is Stop Sign Elephant. He's just minding his own business, trying to make some friends, wearing some polka dot pants. And now, he'll live like that forever. And you just keep going on your way, eating fruit. Gotta give it up to Nintendo for Yoshi's story. Lovable little dinosaur that can do anything it wants because we just think it's too cute. We just really don't care.